You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. Joining us now is the fabulous Suzanne Hull with Chris Kindle Market of Des Moines, which starts in just nine days. How is the Christmas season already upon us? I know, I can't even believe it. Right? Okay, it so. around so quickly. This is a totally new concept to me. So sure. I'm learning about all of this for the first time. So for our viewers at home, tell them about this event. Sure. So um, it started Chris Kindle Market 750 years ago, yeah. and we are bringing that same traditional flair to our Chris Kindle Market here in Des Moines. 100% out of doors at Principal Park in their mm -hmm. main parking lot. Next weekend, you said it mentioned, it, you mentioned it starts in nine days. December 1st, yes. Thursday, five to nine. Friday and Saturday from 11 to nine, and then Sunday, 11 to five. Um, as I mentioned, out of doors, we have an outdoor heated entertainment tent for folks to stay warm that way. That will be there for me. <laughs> We also have mulled wine to keep people warm. Love it. Love it, both red and white this year. We really listened to people's feedback last year okay. on bringing uh, white wine to the festival. And one of the new things this year, we really worked hard with our local food trucks to curate mm. a menu, especially for our festival. We wanted to bring European treats to folks, and so they will have opportunities to try things here that these food trucks don't make year mm. round. So come hungry, come yeah. often come to drink some warm mulled wine and some select craft beers. And to be ready to try new things. Yes. Especially for people that are, say, not familiar with um, you know, the cultural traditions. Talk about some of the stuff they're gonna experience. Sure, so we have uh, great performers in Yuletide Hall, our heated entertainment wow. tent. We have a dance troupe from Minnesota coming down to do Bavarian and Austrian dances. We're really thankful to have found some heritage crafts, mm. crafts folk from around the Midwest. We really wanted to celebrate heritage crafts, how things are made, and so we'll have glass blowing, tin smithing, wow. uh, wood carving. So a lot of a lot of the activities people will see will harken back to how things were done 700 years ago, wow. but also kind of help inform things that we've done in our own homes, mm -hmm. maybe some things that our grandparents taught us. I love bringing the tradition back. You yeah. Know, those strong family roots, and mm -hmm. then it, I'm, people are gonna learn something from this too. Yes. About culture they may have not experienced. And we were talking about this before you know the show started. This, we've all gone through a lot with events being disrupted with the pandemic, and then, you know, you said last year you were blown away by the turnout. Yeah, we we can now say solidly that we're the second largest festival of our kind. Oh my gosh. Based on average daily attendance. Some festivals are longer in duration, but mm -hmm. for the four days we're open, we have the second highest daily attendance among our um, among other Chris Kindle markets, and that's due to the support of our community. The festival's free. We have free parking, we're on the bus route, so plenty of ways for folks to get there to come it's, enjoy the holiday. You make it possible for anybody to join, yeah. which is so nice to see because, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people are hitting some rough times right now with inflation or just, you know, for a variety of reasons. Sometimes the holidays can be stressful and empty, you know, you want to sure. have all the joys of Christmas, the festivities, so I love that you have made this available to anyone. Yes, we're very accessible. Um, to folks who, I, we'd rather have people spend their money, not on entry fees, but on gifts for their family and friends, ways to enjoy the event itself. So come and enjoy. Well, we're already feeling the holiday spirit. Great to have you here. We're all on a countdown to Christmas. Yes. We've already got our Christmas trees up. Yes. You know, I think that went up like after August for all of our I love of it. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank so you. So excited to see it and just feel that holiday Christmas season.